Hey everyone! Today, we're diving into the fascinating process of creating those dazzling pearls. From choosing the right oysters, implanting the nucleus, to the pearls forming deep under the sea, it's all an art that requires patience and skill. Let's discover how nature and humans come together to create these precious gems. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting videos. For centuries, people have worn pearls as jewelry. In ancient Greece, they even thought pearls were the tears of the gods. The oldest pearl jewelry ever found was in the tomb of a Persian princess from 520 BC. Because natural pearls were so rare, only the super wealthy could afford them. In the Byzantine Empire, emperors were the only ones allowed to wear pearls, and ancient Egyptians would often be buried with theirs. Then, in the 20th century, Mikimoto came up with a way to make cultured pearls, making them way more affordable and letting women everywhere enjoy the beauty of pearls. The pearl farming process starts by choosing the right oyster species, like Pinctada maxima, Pinctada margaritifera, or Pinctada fucata, since they can produce high-quality pearls. Contrary to popular belief, natural pearls form when a small organism enters the oyster prompting it to create a pearl sac and secrete nacre. This process takes years and only one in 10,000 wild oysters produces a valuable pearl. Therefore, today, the cultivation method is primarily used to boost production instead of relying on natural pearls. An important step in the pearl farming process is implanting a nucleus into the oyster's body. The small pearl is inserted into the oyster's reproductive organ, where it stimulates the formation of a pearl around the nucleus. After the nucleus is implanted, the oysters are securely tied to ropes or frames to prevent shifting. They are then placed in specialized 1 by 1 meter farming trays with holes for natural seawater circulation, providing oxygen and nutrients. The farming trays are then submerged in the sea at a depth of 2 to 5 meters. In areas with clean seawater, a stable salinity level of 25 to 35 percent, and an ideal temperature range of 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. Throughout the farming process, which lasts from 12 months to 2 years, the farmers must regularly check the oysters, usually every 2 to 3 months to remove parasites such as barnacles or seaweed, while also cleaning the farming trays to maintain the best living conditions.
when the cultivation period is complete. The oyster trays will be harvested depending on the species of oyster and the farming conditions. This process can take anywhere from 18 months to 3 years. The pearl farmers will carefully bring the oyster trays up from the seabed and remove the oysters from the trays. Then, the oyster shells will be opened and the pearls will be extracted. Then, the pearls are cleaned and crafted into jewelry or art products. The crafting steps include drilling holes, polishing, and setting the pearls into metals like gold, silver, or platinum to create necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and rings.